Good morning, everybody. I wanted to show y'all I got some new new. I got this beautiful sunflower flag. I love it, love it, love it. Got it right off Amazon with the pole. And it's got a it's a pretty burlap. Look at look at uh Rick down there. He ready for me to throw these nuts out. Just give me a minute. I'm doing a video first. So anyway, I got that. And as you can see, it matches. Y'all, look how big and beautiful these plants have gotten. Aren't these beautiful? They're like huge. They are absolutely gorgeous. I just water them twice a week. And um, Rex has put me a, um, I got me a little owl up here. <laughs> to keep the squirrels off the porch. And uh, I got me a little uh, hose running up here so I can keep my, um, these huge ferns uh, watered. So, and if y'all can see, I'm going to zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in. If y'all see my mailbox out there, I got a flag out here by my mailbox too. Y'all see it? Y'all see that? I got a flag out there too. You know I'm Miss Matchy Matchy. So I'm gonna have to find a way to zoom in and so it'll focus better. But y'all, I'm still learning the camera. But anyway, let me feed and throw these nuts out here for Mr. Rick. I'm gonna throw them out. But I'm, you're going to learn to be patient. I'm going to throw them out there. You're not going to rush me. And we've had this conversation before. Be patient. And I'll throw them out when I get ready. And I hope you've had a good week. I haven't been here out here all week, I know. And you're probably trying to figure out what his, where I have been. But I run this show. All right, let me throw the nuts out for them. Anyway, y'all wanted to show y'all mine new new from and again these from amazon and so of course as the seasons change i'm going to change out the flag but like i said i love it and it's the same thing on the other they're, they're two-sided so it says the same thing on the on both sides and like i said it's a burlap material if y'all can see that it's burlap so it stays in place love it um i think this flag this size was i want to say it was 12 Either fourteen ninety nine. The pole was sixteen, and that flag out there was nine ninety nine. And the little black stand that it's on was nine ninety nine. So yeah, I think everything all together was like fifty fifty bucks. So anyway, I have always wanted that sort of match my sunflower uh, pillows. Yes. All right, let me feed the squirrels. And just in case y'all wanted to know, this is what I buy for the for the squirrels. I just buy um, four of these in a month because they go through one one of these in like a week to 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 maybe a week in one day. Um, and I'll throw like about three handfuls out three times a week. That's all. Um, sometimes two times a week because I don't want them to get too dependent because they'll be knocking at the door. So they, I just ration it out. But like I said, they'll, I, one, one of these probably can last about two weeks. Um, cause I just, like I said, throw it out sparingly and I get the unsalted peanuts dry roasted. Um, that's what nature, uh, uh, specialists say if you're going to feed them space it out and just you know feed them sparingly you know but anyway that's what i feed the little fellers and the little stellars out there <laughs> and i get these right from the dollar general they're two dollars a, a container i mean you can't beat that you know Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I have almost kicked Dunkin' Donuts to the curb just for a 
just for a little bit. This is one of my new favorites. Southern Butter Pecan. Love it. <laughs> Love it. So good. So good in the neighborhood. Gotta have it. In the morning. Gotta have it. In the morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that just makes a beautiful morning. Amen. Rest in peace, John Lewis. Rest in heaven, my brother. Job well done, my brother. Good, y'all. Mm. I remember this song. I sang this song at my cousin's funeral years ago. Mm. Precious Lord, take my hand. My God. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tiny Lady T. I wanted to just end this vlog and say. It's the next day, actually. It's at the end of the week. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Y'all, let me take the glasses off just in case there's a glare. Um, Y'all, I tell you what, this week didn't go by fast at all. This week, for me, it went by extremely slow because uh, I've been working a lot of hours. And um, uh, we will not have Bible study live on tomorrow because I am going to be working. I got to get up early. And I got a full day of work on uh, tomorrow, so we'll uh, 
get back into the word uh, next week. Um, again, I did want to start doing woman issues. I think that'll be more like a live. It might be a Friday night deal that we do a live. Um, again, being that we're still on lockdown pretty much, I did want to incorporate other women, perhaps my mother, Miss Barbara, um, and I still need to get up with her. She's a busy bee, but I need to get up with her too because I still want her to do a um, a bite in the vine um, with her uh, on, on a topic, perhaps prayer. She's an awesome prayer warrior, um, just awesome. Um, and I would love for her to do a 10, 15, or however long minute video on just prayer. But anyway, y'all, um, it, it's been a challenging week. Um, but I tell you what, um, I'm missing my mama. I'm ready to see my mama. It's been, what, maybe two weeks since I've laid my eyes on her. Of course, I talked to her. Um, so I may go over there Sunday um, and have Sunday dinner with her. We'll just play it by ear. Um, it's just that, you know, these people are being lit up, aren't they? Um Rest, rest in peace, Mr. Lewis. Amen. Rest in peace, Mr. Kane. Um, at the time I'm filming this, I learned this morning, actually, that um, uh, due to COVID. Uh, uh, and, and so rest in peace to him as well. But anyway, um, it's just praying time. Again, we have to just use wisdom um and ask the lord to continue to protect us and uh pass over us lord as we continue to go through this pandemic i'm also just praying for us as a nation um i pretty much get nauseated when i cut on the tv of course we have to be in the know of course we have to have knowledge of what's going on around us we need to know what's who's laboring among us and around us don't we um but uh, again i'm just lifting up this whole nation uh, in prayer. I mean, when I think about uh, as a government, we still have not come to a decision on what we're gonna do about these people or people in general that need help with unemployment. And that stuff, I may not need any financial help, but for all the, those 30 million people who are on unemployment, Congress is getting ready to leave. And this is not a them this party fault versus that party fault. No, collectively, each official, each senator who is representing, it doesn't matter who got the vote and who are, is in the office. If you're up there in Congress, you're representing a whole total people. You're not just representing a person that voted for you. You are now that senator or that representative representing that entire state. And I think we forget that. Oh, yeah, we want your favorite person to win that you voted for. Absolutely. But for whoever you voted for or didn't vote for, whoever is your representative for your state, they are now responsible to see your viewpoint and look out for the best interests of everyone in that state, not just the people that voted for you, but you're also responsible for looking out for the best interests of every constituent for every person within that state. And that's what we sh shouldn't forget. I'm so glad that Jesus don't just look out for those who love him. He also is looking out for those who don't love him because in that what he said, I come for the lost, for the weary, for the ones that are broken hearted, for the ones who are living in sickness and in darkness. I'm so glad that Jesus also recognized those of you who, who are for me, awesome, but I'm also looking for those who are not who don't know who I am. Those are the ones I want to represent. Those are the ones I want to get to know me. Amen. And that's what we have to remember. Whether in politics or whatever, we want a candidate or a person. We may not believe in everything that they believe in and have the same ideals, or we can, we can argue this and that. We can argue policy. But once you're in there, once you're representing that state, have a mindset and have a heart to represent all the ideals. Come to a meeting of the minds. 
come to a compromising place. Amen. Amen. So just think about that. And uh, we that are in the household of faith, it's our job to direct people to Christ. You know, I was thinking about, you know, I know when I do Bible study live, there are people who want to point you to brother so-and-so and, you know, you need to go and, and listen to this brother and that brother preach and that brother preach. Know this about me. When you're on my channel, and I'll elaborate and talk about this at another time. Know this about my heart and about Tanya. Thank God for sister so-and-so and thank God for brother so-and-so. But let me tell you something. Jesus told us the harvest is plenty. I'm going to direct you to Jesus. Thank God for Brother Jace. Thank God for Osteen. Thank God for you name them. Oh, God, I thank you that they're doing the work. Continue to enlarge their territory. But you know what Tanya's doing? The work that God has assigned to my hand, he didn't tell me to go ye and talk about the goodness of Jace. Or either don't even go ye and talk about the goodness of Tanya. It said, go ye and talk about the goodness of God. So when I talk about God and I'm talking about the Bible and we're reading scripture and directing people to see the who, the what, the why, oh, my ultimate goal when you're over here, when I'm in that word, oh, I'm pointing you to Jesus. I ain't trying to point you to nobody else. I'm pointing you to God. And that's, as a woman of God, that's my focal point. Don't bother me while I'm up here. Like Nehemiah said, don't, I'm, look, I'm up here trying to do a good work. And guess what? I may not have on the right color dress. I may not say it so eloquently as those who have all those seminary degrees. But if I'm for God, I'm not against them. So don't bother me. Don't bother me. Nehemiah said, don't bother me. I'm up here with them bricks. Don't bother me when I'm up here doing my work. I got to trust God enough. If that brother over there is doing the work of the kingdom, I got to trust God. If he misstep or have a mishap, God is going to deal with him accordingly. And same way with whether it's in the political arena, in the life arena, I got to trust God enough that he's going to deal with that brother or sister accordingly. My job in within the body is to pray often for one another. What are we doing in the body of Christ? Are you a hand trying to be what the eye does? Operate as a hand. Don't try to do what the eye is trying to do. The eye is for vision. The ear is for hearing. It would be crazy for the ear to try to do what the eye was purposed for. And that was to see. And the ear, what? To hear. Now, we can assist one another, but we can't do it out of order. We'll talk about that on another day. But anyway, I did want to come in and just end the live. Excuse me, I'm saying end the live in this video by just saying we will not have a Saturday morning live because your girl got to tend to this work. Amen. That has been put to my hands. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get over there to Mama's. We'll break bread with her and see about her. But other than that, you know, I also wanted to talk to y'all about this past week because I have been so busy and heavy laden with work. I tell you what, I found myself with the spirit of heaviness on me and I immediately, I immediately recognized it. And I almost felt myself trying to sink into that heaviness and because i'm here by myself it's so easy to sink into that heaviness and feel a certain type of way and and and, and follow that path of heaviness because who's here to 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 say well what's wrong with you we have to remember to snap ourselves out of it so i put on either some light jazz and i don't know if y'all can hear it i got on some light jazz right now or put on you some praise and worship, whatever. And I'm just reminded, I love my sister Belinda. Hey, Belinda, if you're watching this, I love you, my sister. I miss singing with my sister. I do. 
and my whole praise team. I miss just singing, just just getting together with the the live band and the music. And um, there's a song I'm sure for those of you who know it. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Let the oil flow down from your throne. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And that's what we have to remember. When you feel that heaviness, we have to put on that garment of praise. So I wanted to leave y'all with that. Put on the garment of praise. There's so much going on, my God. But I'm so glad if we just remember, God, I thank you. God, remind us that you can handle it. This stuff that goes on in this world, we can, look, we're not capable. We don't have the propensity. We don't have the brain cells. We don't even have the capacity to deal with what this and that and this person and this politician and, and, and this person and that cousin and that aunt and that husband and that one. Lord, we don't have the capacity to try to consume all of that. You told us not to be consumed, but to rest in you. God, remind us how we have to rest in you. And I thank you, God, that you remind me to put on that garment. Cloak, cloak me, cloak me, oh God to put on that garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Because you said you will put no more on me than I can bear, but God, just remind me. Stop trying to take on stuff, Tanya, that you can't bear. And don't blame it on me, because I told you to cast your cares, and I will care for you. So, again, I just want to leave y'all with that. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Anyway, y'all have an awesome weekend. Again, um, I've got some gifts that I've get, gotten from you all. I'll try to do the video. Sometimes I get gifts and I try to do a love mail opening. Um, but just know that I do get your, your, your gifts and I just want to thank you. And again, I pray over all gifts, all letters. Um, and I pray a hundred thousandfold return on your seed. I really do. I'm humbled and I'm thankful. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It does not go unnoticed. Amen. Anyway, again, love y'all so much. Have an awesome weekend and hopefully I'll see you on the flavor train. If not at mama house, you know, I'll be doing it here. Anyway, love you. God bless and may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye y'all. Love y'all.